Hello, welcome back to BNN. One of the most trending stories this week has been Warren and Whitney, the new couple in town. Warren and Whitney have sparked a lot of controversies online surrounding early pregnancy. I don't know if I should call it early pregnancy or teenage pregnancy, but yeah, that is the situation we have here. And people have reacted to this situation. Of course, a lot of netizens, a lot of you online, and a lot of celebrities and influencers. Okay, so Warren and okay so warren and whitney are students at kenyatta university warren is a fourth year student the boyfriend and whitney is a first year student first year semester one they are dating boyfriend and girlfriend and they decided to start blogging their relationship online especially on the app tiktok yeah now you need to be this is the time you need to be strong okay yeah, so we've been seeing them loving each other and calling each other baby and sharing with us their moments currently the young girl is pregnant at 19 semester one year one at the same time she's happy about it she's proud of herself she's happy in a relationship in fact they went ahead and let their parents know boldly that they are expecting a child and this is the video that has actually made them trend take a look at this uh, um. <laughs> As you've heard, the parents were quite okay with this, or rather, it seems they were okay with this. And so, yeah, everybody. It, everybody in Warren's relationship, Warren, Whitney, and the family, everybody is cool with it. But netizens, your people are not cool with it. There are people who are saying this girl is not serious with her life. How the hell did she get pregnant in 1.1? There are also people who are saying that Kitam Ramba. There are also people who are saying that the guy is a red flag and that this girl is set up for some heartbreak or some premium tears. On the other hand, we have people who are supporting this girl. We have people who feel like nobody should be bothering this girl or telling her anything because she's a grown-up person. She understands what she is doing and she is happy about being pregnant. She's looking forward towards being a mother and that's not a bad thing. The girl herself responded to the haters and this is what she had to say to them Baby. okay hello guys it's a girl with me yeah. i'm trending yeah, yeah. like i'm trending i'm yeah. famous yeah. Ah! <laughs> it makes me feel proud yeah. one thing <laughs> one thing niko 1.1 1 .1, and i'm not serious now because i'm not serious in my life because i can walk with my daughter was i a fool was I? Was I a fool? Plus, my guy is here. He's supportive. One hundred. Nini ni na wa uma muna muna nini. Ati wa beni girl a lot serious. I said, ni me kumbi unsaidia kula mtoto. I would. I would. As you've heard, she's very optimistic about it. She's loving it, and she's happy that she's got a man by her side whom she claims is supporting her. So among the celebrities when you are making a story, of course, at Twizy Kosahaba Pretty Vishi. And Pretty Vishi is just like this girl should chill. This is what she said and I quote, I have seen these young couples and to be honest, the girl with me is just funny for real. Because girl, how will you judge a sinner's abortion while you two are a sinner fornication? Make it make sense. Girl, just relax. The ladies who are advising you about the pregnancy, C-A-T, wanna mean utowe, no. Some are just trying to explain to you how being a young mom is not an easy thing. Moreover, nini wote ni VP. Anyway, Adi Kanasema Vile, she's happy for herself because she's trending. That was pretty Vishy responding to the young girl. And then we had Nas Judy who was like telling the other women to stop calling this girl out, to just leave this girl alone because they too, they don't have perfect lives. This is what she said. 
How are Zua? It's so disgusting to see such remarks coming from all these people who pretend to be for women. That's why I said this girl movement is a fake thing. Because that lady is implying that the young lady should not be happy and proud just because she is pregnant at 19. Explain to me why she shouldn't be. Imagine if someone expressed disgust for you being 30 without kids and a man. Would that be fair? Nope. What's all these double standards when it comes to how people choose to do life? She then went ahead and said that all these people who come online appearing like they have the manual in life often have nothing going on perfectly in their lives. And I quote, and it's interesting how these people who seem to have the manual, there is nothing perfect about their lives. They barely have their shit together to start with. Until I see someone with a perfect life, that's the only person I will allow to give us directions of how to do things in this life. She then said, Mimi Kwanza, I pity these young ladies who go for relationship advice to these social media ladies because the responses I have because the responses I have seen before, as in why don't you guys just go to professional therapists? To start with, they don't even practice things that they preach to you. Also, some of these women are toxic giving their advices from a point of unhealed traumas and some also giving from a point of privilege. So that is what Nas Judy had to say about this ongoing story. And at this point, maybe you can let me know, what do you feel about this story? What do you think about the girl Whitney and how being expectant at this time? Also, you can take a second to subscribe to BNN if you like such videos. The other person who contributed to this story is Oga Obina. Oga Obina had a piece of advice for women and the piece of advice is that women should ensure that they can take care of themselves and the child with or without the man if they decide to have children. Before you get pregnant for that man, be very sure with or without that man in the picture, you can take care of your child. <laughs> My sister, am I talking to someone? <laughs> what a big story. And I'm pretty sure that Kenyans are following up on this couple to see what happens next. And I'll be here to give you all the updates. Meanwhile, keep it BNN, where we the bees like to keep it buzzing.